Hello, today I'm going to talk about aspect ratio. So when you're using a standard definition video in an HD platform, you are going to have some trouble because they have different aspect ratios. SD is normally uh, 4x3 and HD is 16x9. So when you project an SD video on an HD TV, you will get those black lines on the edges. Now this isn't really a problem, but here's some tips and tricks that you can do so you can have a more pleasing look. Okay, so the first trick is to use text. Just drop down the text on the edges and put like your company's name or the channel. If you have a logo, you can drop down a logo as well. This is probably the easiest way to fill in the frame, so go ahead and you know, decorate the edges the way you like it. Just make sure it doesn't distract the viewers, just something simple. Let me just copy this and I'll reverse the angle and put it on the other side. Just plain text is boring so let me add more detail to the background. I'll drop down a metal textured background and put a drop shadow on the text. Okay, so after I drop down those shadows in, it's done. Now this definitely has a better and pleasing look to it. Also since it's a skating video, you know, the metal textured background adds a good coolness to the video. Okay, so let's go to the next trick. The next one is really easy. Go to motion and open distort. Here you can vertically stretch the video out. This is really good because you can fill the entire screen. But the problem is you're just stretching a video out so everything's going to kind of look stretched out and people are going to look like a little bit fatter and it just doesn't feel right. But a lot of times you can get away with this. Especially like a video that was shot with a wide angle lens or a fisheye lens. No one will be able to notice it so do it. Alright, now that's done, let me show you the last trick. It's this. Just use the exact same video in the background. Of course, it has the same aspect ratio, so the edges aren't filled, but just scale it up and fill the edges. And there you go. This gives kind of an illusion that it's a 16x9 video, but it isn't. The one problem with this is it's kind of distracting on the edges, so it's hard to focus. So I like to blur the video in the background, and a lot of people do that too, so go ahead and use a blur filter and blur out the background so it's easier for the viewers to focus. Alright, there you go. Now look how easy it is to focus on the video in the center. If you like to add more detail, you can actually color the background and put like a slight orange or blue tint on it. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.